Hey everybody, Jim and Goldman here with our first look at the amazing Spider-Man 2 trailer. Very cool trailer. Yeah, you know, we didn't see a trailer for a while, but they delivered plenty in this one, including a lot of uh, the new suit here, the very cool comics accurate Spider-Man suit. Andrew Garfield, of course, back as Spidey, and here, coming up, we're going to get our first look at the rhino. Yeah. The rhino suit. Uh, I like the whole mech suit thing. Now, let's scroll back here. There we see Paul Giamatti. As Alexei Sitsevich, I believe, Why is not? how you say it, uh, who becomes the Rhino. But it, 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 we don't think this is part of the Oscorp technology here because I think there's some Russian writing right. on it. So we'll, we'll speculate more about that in a, in a separate piece. But it's just kind of awesome to see <laughs> the Rhino. Speak. Yeah. And, but you also you see him standing up right there. So even though the poster shows him on all fours, it looks like he can do both. Yeah. yeah. Now, who is this I mean, this that's, evil that's, person? That's got to be the Green Goblin. And, you know, this trailer is not holding back. It's like there was speculation. Would Harry or Norman become the Goblin in here? We're pretty much getting full-out confirmation like that poster tease yeah. that uh, he is. Harry does become a version of the Goblin in this and film. And including with different hair, pointy ears, and sort of a tinged skin. And also it's kind of an amalgam because in the Ultimate Comics, the Goblin Serum made him into a creature, and then in the comics, regular comics, he just wore a costume, and so here he's got a little bit of both. I'm so sorry. I'm and we get our first uh, look here at, at uh, Gwen Stacy and Peter Parker back together again here. And this big fight sequence, which we're guessing all has to do with the Rhino, uh, which uh, sounds like it might be kind of an opening sequence. Let, let's a uh, little shout out there to the Daily Bugle, the Tumblr, an actual Tumblr, but you gotta like the in movie meta. Moment. Yeah. That was, of course, Paul Giamatti. And yeah, again, they're pulling from, you know, the Ultimate Comics, the original comics, and the spectacular Spider-Man animated series in, in quite a lot of respects, I feel. This is Dane DeHaan as, uh, as Harry Osborn. Mm -hmm. Now here, this is a, this is a huge uh, revelation here. We have a... a we, we were able to determine what some of these things are, including... We see, at one point, Venom Storage. Yeah, Venom Storage is listed on this. Uh, there's also uh, a, a reference to the Eel Lab, which we'll see later in the film. Ravencroft, the Asylum. Ravencroft, the Asylum from Marvel. And then there's uh, also uh, an Oct mention here, which, uh, which I think... Which will pay off later in the trailer. And then, <laughs> yeah. of course, there's also uh, mentions of Dr. Connor's file. So a shout-out back to the, uh, the first movie. So Peter, finding out he's been tracked his whole life by Oscorp, going back to the mystery of his father, kind of the stuff from the first movie that didn't really pay off, frankly. Yeah. Um, and here we see he's got maps all over his apartment, including Polaroids. Who still takes Polaroids? And Peter Parker, uh, pictures man. Of, uh, of Gwen. Yeah, so either he's being his extra stocky May. to a girl who's already his girlfriend, or yeah. you know, there's stuff going he's on here. He's got maps all over the place. There's Charlie other Field pictures behind her as well. Man. Now, his dad's secret lab, it looks like. And we're going to see he discovers all sorts of stuff. There's Campbell Scott back as his father. Now, this fella yeah. right here, the the mystery man. The mystery man who was seen at the end of the first film in the post credit scene in Kirk Connor's cell came to him. Man in the hat. But even more interesting, yeah. we have... <laughs> octopus Here, tentacles and vulture, vulture wings. Vulture wings. A huge, obviously, a huge p thing to put in this trailer. Giant, giant setup for future villains. Kind of goes hand in hand with those files we were showing earlier. The fact that Oscorp is working on all of these things that could become Spider Man's villains. That's actually something that was in the Spectre Spider Man animated series. It kind of had Norman Osborn as the person behind a lot of the villains. It's a cool way to connect it all and not have every villain be an accident, you know? Yeah. That there's this bigger threat looming bigger reason for it all. And now oh. here's uh, Harry. Yeah, go back uh, on there though because uh, I know a lot of people are already saying, you know, Sinister Six, which I do think this is the setup for, but I will point out that uh, in the earlier shot which seems to be Harry coming down, there is a seventh door on the right there. So, what uh, lies behind the seventh Sinister door? Sinister Six plus one is Nor is like maybe Norman will be the, the seventh or something like there that. That's and he's also been beat up somehow, so clearly he's looking for a way to empower himself. Who would have beat him up, though? I don't know. But he, he, Look at his neck. It, was that a burn? Was he throttled? I don't oh, know. So Electro. I feel like ah, there might be electro. some Electro involved in that. There we go. Uh, speaking of Electro, this is his origin. Uh, the, the Eels, another uh, thing Jamie we've Fox, seen. Jamie Foxx, of course. Played by. Now, these fellows here... 
Uh, we're going to see them a little later in the trailer. These appear to be thieves who break into Oscorp to steal some of the, the stuff that they're working on, and we think that they're in the employ of, of Rhino. Possibly involved with the, the, li- the Rhino. I almost said the Lino. <laughs> so that would be a crossover. And then, yeah, we get the full uh, the Goblin Glider. But this young lady here in the window staring at Harry, we believe, is Felicity Jones, whose role has not yet been been um, revealed. Really. No, she has not been revealed who she's playing. A lot of speculation about a certain Felicia Hardy uh, that you know she's been coy about. But yeah, I have a feeling that that is indeed her. Now, here, of course, Chris Cooper as Norman Osborn. Um, you know, the, the first movie set up that he was dying and that a lot of this stuff that all these experiments are tied to him trying to save his life. Uh, not sure how much we'll actually get of Chris Cooper in these movies. In this one. Yeah, I think we'll get more of him. You got to love, love this here. Just the, the rhino nose. I mean, I, I love that they turn rhino into basically a mech suit. Mm-hmm. And it's funny because, yeah, Electro is the main villain as far as we know, but we don't see a lot of him in this trailer until near the end. Now, Now, right here, that looks to be Campbell Scott as an older Richard Parker fighting some sort of pilot gone bad here trying to escape an airplane. Now, you say older Richard Parker. Do you think this is present day and he's really alive, or do you think this is a big flashback? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he looked he looked like he had brown hair in uh, in those videos he Be- left for Peter. Because in the, you know the backstory is that he thought his parents died in a, a plane accident. Uh, but yeah, there's certainly a, a plane fight going on there for Richard Parker. Now here we see uh, the Electro suit. Yeah, most of the images we've seen have have him in that hoodie. But we did see one other photo released of this full costume that he does get at some and point. Jamie Fox also has that almost like. Uh, Barcode thing. It's like it's like an ele- no, it's like an electronic reader. It has like uh, you see uh, on the close-up picture, you can see that it has sort of scanning and I think maybe keeping him in check. Now here we get a good look at uh, the goblin trying to stay still. Speed. Yeah, but they obviously they they fight. They fully you know this is going to be a full Spider-Man versus Goblin battle. It looks like. And he's he's got the pointed ears and his hair. That crazy somehow. crazy hair. And uh, he's got a headpiece. He, he almost reminds there. me of the uh, Spider-Man Turn Off the Dark version of uh, Green Goblin there. Now, here's, of course, the uh, the plane going down. Is that uh, we see a woman's long hair? Could that be uh, Mary Peter's? Parker? Yeah, Peter's mom. In the city. And then finally here at the end, we got kind of a bigger idea of, of the Electro battle, although that's here's Harry. Harry transforming. Transforming, yeah. Without power. Without Very power. cool stuff. And then, yeah, these there's... fellows right here. Now, these we think are probably Russian thugs in the employ of Alexei Sitsevich. Yeah, yeah. The rhino. But it looks like those are the two guys. And then right after that next shot, that's Gwen. Uh, and <laughs> we'll talk about this in a second. But uh, it looks like Gwen might be involved in the goblin battle, which will start off as a speculation. Now, let's go back, though, and look at this young lady right here. Yeah, and I wish I could remember the site that I first read this mention on, but a lot of people have noted that that is almost certainly Shailene Woodley playing Mary Jane Watson, who's been cut from the film. Yeah, but there were and photos will probably of her. be recast. Yeah, and so shot. we don't even know if this shot will be in the movie. Maybe it is, because it could be some random woman if they never show any other context. That was the costume and hair she had on set, and people saw that car yeah, that being side crashed. Braid. Yeah, because they prepare trailers you know, before movies are done. Yeah. This is uh, this is all very cool. We can't wait to see more of the Amazing Spider-Man 2, but it opens next year. Thanks Sinister. for watching. Sinister Six, baby.